Hello, Tanse, bonjour, good morning everybody. Dal Sarkand here. I'd like to welcome you to Powwow Dance Aerobics. This is my daily class and exercise activity in which I use powwow style dancing for a cardio full body workout. Uh, and it's a very simple workout. So if you're interested in participating, this is a free class that I do every day for everybody, for those of you that have been following. For those of you that are new, welcome to the class. This is my daily free class and a little bit of a lesson on fitness and aerobics and health and wellness, well-being. And this is all from the comfort of my own home to your home. And I know not everybody has access to a gym, including myself, because I live out in the country. I live out in Alexander First Nation and we don't necessarily have uh, gym facilities out here. I do have my own home gym and I do practice dancing in my home on a regular basis. This is where I train, this is where I, I practice my hoop dancing skills and everything in association to that, as well as my music and I've got a little recording studio in my house. So I, I got everything I need basically to to just uh, keep active as an artist and keep creating, keep practicing my craft and what I do. So I just wanted to share with you and uh, say also good morning to everybody out there. So today's another new day. Uh, every day you can hit that reset button and reset your goals. You don't have to wait to New Year's for a New Year's resolution. As some of you might be in right now, you might be right in the midst of your new year new year's resolution and your goals and your intentions for this new year however every day is a new day and you can reset those goals every day and every day when i wake up i always get up and i always you know say hello to the world and get my day started with a little coffee a little a little morning inspiration a little working out if uh if uh you know what i mean so anyways, uh, I wrote a little, a little quote today, as well as some of my goals. And they're, they're kind of very generic, I guess, but they're, they're still, I still wrote them down. And when you write them down, they, they just become that much more powerful. So anyways, um, today's quote that I wrote goes like this. When our goals are in line with our purpose, life is a lot more meaningful. When you're genuine and authentic, you are in alignment with your divine being. Very simple but effective quote, and that's all you really need is is just you know like I've, I've been you know studying quotes and writing quotes for this past year. Well, it's not just this year, but I've been doing it many times before. So a list of goals that I I just have in mind that that it's kind of like an everyday automatic routine, and for me it's like to work out every day, to practice dancing, practice singing because I'm a singer songwriter, and as well work on personal development and i think we all need that personal development as something to do every day as well as professional development i've been uh, working on that one specifically lately as well as work on some new music and i'm working on a, a new album right now and it's uh it's probably almost done and i was actually looking into some artists and, and what they did because like Tony Robbins says, success leaves clues. So if you want to be successful, you model other successful people and find out what they did to make their career successful. And I found uh, a rapper, he's uh, an Italian guy by the name of Russ. I don't know if you guys know the rapper or the artist named Russ. Anyways, he released a song a week for like two years and it made him very successful, not only money-wise, but in his career, everything, it just blew up. Now he's making songs with like some of the big mainstream artists and he's super successful in what he does. He's young, he's like 26 years old and the, the kid's like amazing. Well, to me, he's a kid, cause I'm like 42, man. So anyways, um, with that said, I would like to get started into the program today for Pow Wow Dance Aerobics. We're gonna start off with some warm up activities and uh, just get things started here so need your little weights here get some resistance going I, I like to use these weights 
as well, check out the social distance powwow. They have some wicked awesome apparel. This is my jacket from the social distance powwow. It's my favorite jacket. I have to like alternate days so I don't wear it every day, but I think I've been wearing it every day since Monday. And I don't know, I just love it. It just feels good. And I support them. And I think you should too. There's dance specials on there right now. As well, there's also, if you go on to uh, the World Championship Hoop Dance is going on right now. And I believe they'll be featured on the Social Distance Pow Wow. Uh, I'm not participating in the um, in, in that this year, but uh, next year I will be. I'll be hoop dancing there. I'll be pow wow, pow wow dancing this summer. So expect to see me on the Pow Wow Trail doing my dance. Fancy dance is my dance. So I'll be in shape for it. I'll be ready for it because I do this every day. And because of this, I don't weigh, I'm not super, super huge. I don't have that big COVID belly, belly but I do have a little COVID, uh, COVID layer on me. That's okay. It's okay to get a little bit, a little bit fluffy, but you can always tone it down. Simple as, as the way you got it. See, we're shapeshifters as human beings. We shape shift a lot. Some of us get a little rounder, and then you can shape shift all that into a little bit more leaner, a little bit more cut, everything like that. So, anyways, join me for some power dance aerobics now. We're gonna do a warm up. So, really simple right, left, one, two, step. This is the powwow dance aerobics treadmill. We're getting it started. Let's get it started. Thank you. 
I got bucked off there. All right, that was the warm up. So yeah, I'll keep that song going because I'm not gonna dance it. That was a good warm up. So I'm gonna just put on some flute music now. My very own flute music. This is an unreleased song that I did a while back. And I have songs that go on iTunes and Spotify, Google Play. I have six albums I'm working on a seventh album right now. So if you guys want to check out my music, it's definitely there. Dallas Arcan, or I have uh, my newest album is under the name of DJ Crazy Cree. And that's an EDM album I did. I'm gonna do a follow-up album to that actually. Probably by the summer I should have something ready for that. I already have all the songs, I just haven't mixed them down yet. So anyways, it's quite a process though, recording and composing songs. It's a lot of work. So anyways, what we're doing right now is we're doing some stretches to loosen up the muscles now that we've warmed up. Our muscles are warm and ready to stretch. So let's stretch those muscles out. So loosening up those shoulder, chest muscles. So this one's fairly easy. You lock your fingers together. You try to pull them apart, but then you don't, you don't actually pull them apart. And you can feel that in the back of your shoulder blades. And you just give them a nice twist from left to right. Like you're chopping down the forest or you're chopping down a tree. It's just like you give a nice swing from left to right. And you should feel that right down to your hips and even right down to your knees. You should be able to feel that, that resistance. And then from here, this is the tricep shoulder stretch right here. So you just keep your arm straight, pull it in towards your chest and that'll stretch your shoulder tricep muscle. It's a really good stretch to do. Helps to loosen up the tension there on the arm. And what you do on the left, you wanna do on the right. And typically you wanna do about 10 seconds per stretch because these stretches are important. You don't wanna overstretch or you don't wanna do a half fast job of stretching. You just wanna do the right job. So typically about 10 seconds per stretch. And I do a variety of different stretches on the muscles. So right now we're just stretching out that neck muscle and now chin into your chest. That helps to loosen up things there as well in your chest, or I mean in your neck muscles. So then you, with this one, you just go from left to right, roll from shoulder to shoulder. Nice shoulder roll like that. Oh yeah, it feels good. All right, loosening those muscles up. All right, hand on your shoulder and lean away. This one gives you a little bit more of a deep tissue stretch on your shoulder, deltoid, neck muscle. It's like a triple stretch when you put your hand here and lean away from it. Oh, that feels good. Gotta loosen up those neck muscles because that's why I do this in the morning, right? Because it prepares you for the day. You know, I say this so many times is that when you stretch or when you exercise and stretch in the morning, it prepares you for the day. And you never know what you're gonna encounter throughout the day. Because throughout the day, we have to face the world we have to work, do our jobs. There's many stresses associated with that. So it's better to do it in the morning. You can also do an evening workout. So you can do like a morning warm up workout, which is only about a half an hour. And then in the evening, if you have more fitness goals, you can actually work out for an extra hour or two. You know, it's all up to you, whatever you want to do. <laughs> Just remember you get what you put into it. So if you want to gain more muscle, more tone, then you gotta do a little bit more working out. So this is just a basic workout though to, to help keep down those calories and to help keep the body fit and efficient. And by doing that, you're basically, you're helping yourself stay healthy simply by doing that little bit of a task of working out on a daily basis. So I do this every morning and I do it for pretty much the same. I, I don't do anything too different because I've been doing this for years and I know that this works for me and I know that it's effective. I can feel it in my body. I've done the research necessary to do so. So I know that this is 
a very effective program. I'm sweating right now as we speak because of those first couple dances, those warm-up dances. Feels good. And I, I did a little workout before the class this morning. I, I just did a little warm-up with some uh, some arm curls, some uh, some flat bench pressing. And I'm gonna do more today too. I'm gonna really work on my chest muscles. So I wanna have a nice, nice beach body by the summer. That's my hope anyway. So heel to the floor, toe up, and reach for your toe and you should feel that stretch right underneath your leg there. Oh yeah, that feels good. All right, so moving on. I've got a couple more stretches here and then we're going to do some strength training, which is basically we're just gonna do some push-ups and maybe a plank or two. And that's all, and I, and I got my little uh, thermal band here. You can buy these little workout tools at Walmart. They're really cheap, they're like 10 bucks or whatever. Those little weights that I bought there, they're only $13 at Walmart. Might be cheaper if you're in the States. In the States, it could be like $10 because Canadian currency and American currency is different. That's why things seem cheaper in the States, but if you measure the currency value, it's about the same, right? So some little, some states are a little cheaper than others, but just depends where you go. Anyways, continuing on, keep your legs straight, reach down. If you can go past your knees, if you can just grab your knees, that's great, you know, keep your legs straight. But if you can go a little further, that gives a little bit more of a thorough stretch. Stretches out your back of your legs here and your lower back, as well as part of your torso. And I like to add a little variety in my stretches. Ooh, I'm sweating good today. All right, so here's the variety. I just cross my legs, left over right, and then give it a nice little twist there, and that twists your hips, and twists those, uh, those muscles in a different way, right? Because your body's like a network of muscles, and if you can stretch it as much as you can in different ways, it definitely makes a difference. So anyways, here we go. We're gonna do some push-ups, and this is part of the 25 push-up challenge, which people are, I don't know if they're still doing it, but uh, I'm still doing it well beyond the 30 days because it was meant to be a 30-day challenge, but if you could do that every day and make it a habit, then you're always gonna have, you're always gonna have the confidence of doing it as well as the strength to work out your, your upper body, and that's what push-ups do. You're basically exercising those core muscles. You're exercising those chest muscles as well as those tricep muscles right behind your arm there. Those those uh, wings, they call them, or bingo flaps. I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's kind of funny. Uh, some people call them bingo flaps. And uh, I get that. You know, it's kind of a kind of an elder joke I, I heard a few times. So anyways, let's uh, do that. Uh, let's do the 25 push-up challenge. And I'm gonna use a little psychology on you guys for that. If you ever uh, get a chance to look up Mel Robbins, she has this thing called the five second rule. And basically what it is, is just counting down to five and then whatever is on your mind that you want to do, count down to five and then do it. And it's a psychological training thing with your brain. And it's like, it's like five, four, three, two, one and lift off, go. That's really what it's all about. It's it's. It's an instinct, it's a, it's a natural instinct that we have inside of us that trains our brain or our brain reacts to that more than just taking on the task. So without further ado, let's do some 25 push-ups in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, and twenty-five. Oh, one more. Oh yeah. See, if you take it a little bit slower like that too, it creates more, more resistance into your actual workout. So 
So this is the thermal band I was talking about. I've actually seen them for sale at Walmart. They're only like seven bucks. They're really cheap. You can do a variety of exercises with these. You can exercise your legs, I believe. I think you go like this and you wrap it around and you can go like this. That exercises your, uh, the side of your legs, I guess. So you do that one. And there's quite a variety of different exercises. There's, I believe there's a chart of exercises you can do, but some of the more simple ones and obvious ones are you just step on the, the band and you can do, try, you can do uh, bicep curls. So these are exercising these muscles right there, bicep curls. And basically you wanna do them in sets. Well, every time you do this, this is a rep, repetition. Because repetition is the mother skill. And repetition is how you can measure your results. So, you know, like for this weight or whatever, this resistance, I would do like 30 of these, you know. And I would do like four sets of 30. And that's enough to uh, burn those muscles into shape. And then here's another one you could do for the shoulder muscles. And simply, you just hold on like this and lift your shoulders and make yourself into a T like that. And you can do typically, you know, for this weight for me, you know, it's different. I could do this like 40 or 50 times for one set. But, uh, you know, if you do them slowly, you get a little bit more resistance out of them opposed to doing them really fast like this. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna get more numbers out of that, but if you wanna do them effectively and feel that burn, you can do them slowly and hold. So up and hold and slowly down. And that's, you get a little bit more resistance out of that. So that's just another thing. And one last thing I'll show you, you can bring up your elbow like this and hold on. And then you can just extend your arm out like this. And that exercises your tricep muscles. So if you do like, you know, 10 or 20 or 30 of those, those are very effective in toning the back of your arms. And they're very, very effective in doing that. So remember I said this is a total body workout. So powerhouse dance aerobics is meant to work out your entire body because we get cardio out of this. We get strength training out of this, as well as we get that cultural component, which is really, really great for, for our well-being for our spiritual well-being our mental well-being emotional well-being and physical well-being and that's why i do this class on a regular basis and it's totally for free you know even though you, i get stars or somebody sends me a tip once in a while it's nice it's it's nice to get that even though it's not required this is totally free so it's totally up to you if you want to tip me or whatever you call it, uh, make a donation to what I do, that's, that's totally fine. And you know, I don't refuse anybody because I don't wanna be rude either. So anyways, uh, just so you know, I do this for free as, as, as my service and my contribution to the world, to make the world a better place and promote health with all of you. Because I like seeing people healthy. It makes me happy when somebody else is uh, achieving their goals and getting the things they want because we all have that birth given right to get the things that we want in life and we all have the the uh, ability to do it and you know at, at whatever level you're at it doesn't really matter what level you're at as long as you're in pursuit of your own happiness and goals and i believe being healthy is something that we should all indulge in and not take for granted and that's all there is to it so i'm sweating pretty good already so i'm gonna do a couple more songs i've, I've had a good workout I'm, I'm actually gonna go for a jog after this because uh the sun's not quite out it's still dark outside so i don't like jogging in the dark as a damn res dogs will come attack me and i don't even know where they're coming from <laughs> so anyways let's get dancing
Oh, no. Alright. Do one more song. Then we'll do a cool down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. talking here in the background Whew. that was a good one I turn on the fan now all right always good to have a fan when you're working out keep the air circulating oh it feels good so anyways I'm gonna do the cool down now so if you follow this format You'll notice the difference every day. Because you gotta just not give up on yourself. It just takes discipline every day of doing this. And whether you do it with me or not, it's important to exercise on a daily basis. Especially as we get older, when you're you're older, your body tends to, uh, you know, it's, it's slowly, deteriorates you know your muscles and everything like that so you gotta like always gotta like work on strengthening those muscles to maintain your body weight and when you exercise like this you're not only exercising your muscles but you're exercising your internal organs like your lungs you're expanding your lungs and oxygenating your blood as well as your heart you're getting your heart a little workout as well as well as your other organs as well, like your stomach and everything. When you dance like this and, and do that that constant hop, it's basically shaking everything up in there so you can have proper movement and regulation of your system. And your system is like, I don't know, it's like an engine, I guess, or it's like minerals, like, right? When they're gold mining, they shake up the, the, the ground or the dirt to get all the gold filtered out. And that's a simple uh, trick in aggregate extraction and so on and so forth. But I feel great. Like that's the other thing about working out is you're gonna you're gonna feel it. You're gonna you're gonna notice it. Like 
I feel great and I'm starting to look great and I'm starting to be a lot happier because of my my physique and that's what you get out of it too is the reward of being healthy and the reward of feeling good and looking good and it gives you that confidence that we all crave for and it's uh, it's like the quote from my life coach goes taking action breeds courage and confidence no action breeds fear and doubt so wouldn't you rather be in a place where you're confident and where you feel good and you look good and that's all it takes that's all it takes you know because I even I have my doubts and whatever but I take action I remember those quotes you know as hard as it may be that self-discipline is really hard to do at times you know especially when we're in these trying times of global pandemic like a lot of us are in lockdown a lot of us are stuck in our homes but we can take this as a as a blessing and a lesson that we can teach and use to nurture ourselves into coming out of this thing that much better than we went in you know it's about healthy it's about uh, healthy choices healthy lifestyles you know like i'm not perfect i'm far from it but i just never give up on myself you know even my my girlfriend uh, the other day she or a couple weeks ago she said some uh she said something to me and it kind of like hurt my feelings a little bit but it was like okay whatever i'm going to just not let that break me down and and uh, you know people say things when they're angry and you just gotta not take it to heart and just like okay other people's opinions of you is none of your business really and that's what i learned from my life coach and and it's so true like if somebody tries to tries to say something to you or belittle you or put you down I'm not saying that my girlfriend is looking like that bad but she just kind of said something um, I don't know if she realized what she was saying and then she later apologized of course uh, because she realized that she said something to me that, that didn't didn't feel didn't feel the love in it <laughs> anyways I, I don't get too caught up in uh, what people say uh, it's only what people do really that that's really the uh, the kicker so anyways I'm just uh, finishing off the class now we already did that shake earlier so just doing the cool down right now with you guys and uh, just doing the last minute reflections you know I typically do this for only half an hour to 40 minutes and all you need is like a good 30 minute workout program per day like if you want to maintain your health and regulate and basically maintain your 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 health and well-being and you'll notice the difference because there's a few people on here that have shared what this class has done for them it's it's helped them lose weight it's helped them stay healthy active and sane i guess for the most part because because we don't have the we're, we're, we don't have the visitation abilities that we had before before this pandemic and a lot of people need this so that's why i put this on every day and i need this too just as well as you do so if you think it helps you it helps me as well to connect with you on a regular basis because you know i i used to travel all over the place and do shows and meet people and greet people and take pictures and and tell stories but uh, this whole year has been totally whack man this whole 2020 was a total write-off and even part of 2021 where, where there's even more lockdowns coming on but i think by spring we're going to be in a better place like enough people will get will, will take preventative measures to stop the spread of this virus as well there's going to be more people vaccinated more people are immune to it just because there's a lot of recoveries and whatever but uh you know you just got to do what you can to stay safe and you know work on your yourself that's what i'm telling myself is that when I come out of this this global pandemic, I, I want to be in the right place. I want to be I want to be in line with my goals. I want to be in line with my divine purpose and being 
So thanks again for joining me, everybody. And if, if you find this message of value, definitely share this uh, far and wide with your friends and family. This is totally free. As well, um, if you wanna check out the female version of this class, check out Michelle Reed with Native Dance Fitness. She's, she's an amazing uh, dance instructor as well. Um, I believe there's some other classes out there, but I'm not familiar with all of them. Uh, you could also check out the Social Distance Pow Wow if you uh, want to watch some beautiful dancing, hear some songs, stories. You know, it's another way to engage, another platform. That's why I'm so supportive of what Whitney and Dan do with the Pow Wow and the whole Pow Wow, Social Distance Pow Wow team. So definitely check that out. So in the meantime and in between time, you guys have a beautiful day wherever you're at and keep fit have fun stay safe and we'll catch you again i'll be back here tomorrow same time same thing 7 30 and this is a daily routine that i do every day so thanks again for joining me and uh, you guys have a beautiful blessed day okay hi hi take care peace out